in the last episode, you saw us priming the floors. In between that episode and this episode, I have hand sanded, puttied, and hand sanded again the floor. It's still Hours not of sanding. Hours. <laughs> That's why I'm dusty. Um, but we are finally ready for paint, and then maybe a little more sanding, and then paint. When you're working with floors this old, you just got to keep sanding until it's smooth enough that you can walk on it barefoot. And you also have to tell yourself, that's good enough. That'll be okay. It has to be Jamie barefoot approved. Let's get started. All right, so you can see we still have some imperfections here and there where Jamie's gone in and filled in some divots and cracks and things with some lightweight and some extra Bondo. But for the most part, it's smooth, it's even, you're not gonna catch your foot on anything, which is our biggest concern. There may be a couple little low spots that we might hide with some rugs or something where it's real rough, but I think it'll be all right. So we are mixing up Snow White milk paint. It is farmhouse finishes. You can pick this up at Jamie Raven, jamierayvintage.com. You're gonna mix it up to one part water, to one part paint. We're gonna try the ginormous mixer here because we have to mix lots and lots. We chose this paint because it sticks well and it is traditionally what was used on older homes 100 years ago. It's all natural, it's even food safe. Although I'm probably not eating off the floors. Well, someone will. Eventually, yeah, that always happens. <gasps> Whoops. Hopefully that powder gets to the or what? All right, I'm gonna try that. This is by weight. So we're just gonna go until we think we got a good consistency. Oh, it's getting creamy. You want your milk paint to be a melted milkshake consistency. Usually after I mix it, I let it sit for about five-ish minutes and it'll thicken up a little bit. If you need to make it thinner or thicker, you can add more or less milk paint depending on what you desire. That is like the most milk paint that I've ever mixed up in my life. Jamie's testing the smoothness of the floor out as she goes. That's how she knows if something needs sanded more because she can feel it with her feet. I'm over it. <laughs> So we were just over at Debbie's Design Diary grand opening in Encinitas and while we were gone, we primed the floors before that we went. So the primer's been sitting on here for about four days now. It's probably not necessary. But we're definitely gonna need two coats because there are lots of highs and lows in the floor. So we won't get it all. And something to mention is farmhouse finishes does not need bond the way regular milk paint does. So it should not ship off. So you can see the variation in the tone there. This Snow White is a lot warmer than the primer color was. It's, it's gonna really brighten and warm the room up. I know it's white, you, people are like, oh, it's so sterile, but it's gonna add a lot of warmth. Snow White is a warm white. It's definitely not a cream, but it is warmer than the pure white walls. So one of the things I'm loving in here is how bright it is. So we don't have any lights on right now, but it feels like we have lots of lights on. We have kind of long winters with not a lot of daylight and it can kind of get depressive. So having a super white and bright house is really great in those winter months. So I'm using a roller to do most of the parts, but I'm gonna have to cut by the back door and along the side with a brush. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're painting that you're not gonna be able to get everything with a roller. And I'm gonna have to touch up the base of the hutch here, whatever that is. And we might trim that hutch out, we'll see. Yeah, you never know, it's fine. I could have taped it off, but it's easy to repaint. It's actually better if you go side to side because it gets down into the cracks. Because the floor's not really level, so if you just go one direction, you can't get into all the little nooks and crannies and crevices. And the milk paint dries super rock hard, so it works as filler too. All right, 
The roof is done. The caps are on. And now I gotta do the roof. Jamie is requiring brand new clean pairs of socks to come in here on her floor that's unsealed. Hey, three for a dollar at the family dollar or the Dollar Tree or whatever. I'm wearing two. Although <laughs> I got blue and somehow you got pink. So I have done two coats of milk paint on here. I'm just sanding any chunks. What was happening is that was working on the roof and every time he'd hammer the roof, stuff would get down from the ceiling into the floor. Well, it's a very old ceiling. And this is our original barn style that we're sticking with. So, you know, there's bound to be stuff in the cracks from all the years, dust and things, but I'm done up there now. So she can move forward. Yeah. I mean, look at all the dust we have just from sanding. <laughs> we got to clean that off. That's going to be awesome. I'm down on the floor sanding any spots or chunks. The milk paint is really forgiving and it sands really smooth. And then I'll come back and touch up anywhere that needs painted and cut the corners and then I'll be ready to seal. I hope. I kind of decided that this floor is never going to be perfect. So. Well, it's about time. Just get her done. <laughs> what, what's your favorite saying? What's your favorite saying? Done is better than perfect. Okay. But this is floors that I'm going to have for a long time. It's not like a piece of furniture. I could distress the floors. But I think I'm just going to let them You know distress. what? If a kid spills a bunch of red Kool-Aid on your white floor, we'll just salvation solution and paint over. Paint. That's right. Okay. So I think maybe I'll then, I'm just going to sand it, sweep it, and seal it. And then I'll come back and cut the edges because I really need to get sealer down. Because once you get sealer down, if dust gets on it, it's easy to get off. Yeah. And the Kool-Aid will be easy to get off too. It'll be just like our wood floors at this home. It's going to be a Kool-Aid free zone. Water only. Occasionally milk. Just kidding. <laughs> When's the last time I got Kool-Aid? I don't know. Been a minute, but Jack likes orange juice and apple juice equally sticky. But they'll come off. We're gonna put like a lot of coats of sealer on here. So we did get some crackle, but that was actually in the primer. And we could have like done a lightweight and sanded over, blah, 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 but I just left it so there is a little bit of this in a few spots from whatever was underneath, and I don't care. So we've been chasing dust and chasing dust and chasing dust, and I think we finally got it down to this little bit of pile. This is from sanding and, and little chips of paint that have popped up when we're sanding or like high spots and things. So it, it looks like a lot, but this is the whole floor. And you see the light spots. We came in, we had a couple little spots that were like problem spots. We came in, Jamie put Salvation Solution in white on there and we're gonna just repaint over those real quick and then I think we'll be ready to seal this. I sure hope so. This is her and her, this is her and her timeout corner. <laughs> I, I think I have spent more time on my hands and knees on this floor than I've ever spent on any floor. I thought painting was gonna be easier, but it's a little complicated on old nasty floors. I, and I think if we would have stained these, it would have been even worse because they were just so gross. I'm looking forward to painting fresh wood floors and not 100 year old wood floors. Yeah, I think if your floor is in as in bad condition as this one was, it would be pretty easy to just, you know, scuff it up a little bit so that the paint sticks good and then paint it. The construction door jam that's right here is gonna go. I call it the construction door jam because lots of things have been dropped on it and lots of weather. I wanna say it was properly installed, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry and it's late at night and I just need to get a door closed so I can lock it, I literally just throw things together and we're, we're having to fix a couple of those things. Luckily, they're not super major repairs, just little stuff like door jams here and there. Stir dot shake, so this is Zeb stirring. We're using Parks Pro Finisher water-based polyurethane. It's not supposed to yellow. It doesn't stink so bad, and it's made by Rust-Oleum. So, it says by Restore, but the back says Rust-Oleum. Picked it up at Home Depot, but you can probably get it at Amazon too. It's creamy. So it'll dry clear. Never use oil based. It will yellow. Always water based. A gallon is supposed to cover uh, five to six hundred square feet. 
This is about 900 in here, give or take, but we've also got the pantry and the island and the bathroom that we're not gonna be finishing, so it should roll on fine. And about a gallon will give us one coat. I, or, I bought all that they had, which was three. So we might need to get more. You wanna make sure that you're buying not a cheap roller. Um, we went with the Wooster brand that is shed resistant because you really don't want fibers in your finish. That's the worst. Well, and it's hard to see where you've got. So I'm gonna follow the planks on the floor. And we're just gonna go from there. And it is getting trimmed out. So if I don't get all the way up to the edge, I'll be all right. It actually goes on fairly quick. It's all the sanding and the sweeping and the prep that takes forever. Seth's so doing a very good job sealing it. Well, you know, we figure, you know, once a year we'll come in here and we'll touch it up and haul the furniture out, you know, whatever. Probably not gonna do that, but it's fun to, it's fun to say it. It'd be like a spot tree. Oh, look, the kids are coming home. Jack and his little bus. All right, I'm gonna have to stop them because I don't want them walking on the floor. Stop. We're running the second coat on here. The first coat took an entire gallon um, almost down to the last drop. The paint was a little dry, the floor was dry. I feel like it sucked it up. The second coat is taking much less sealer. It's just kind of sitting on top. So hopefully we get a little bit more. I'd like to get four coats of coverage out of three gallons. So we'll see. Cross your fingers. Crossing fingers now. And then I'm not putting anything on this floor for an entire weekend. You can see there's a spot that's a little lighter there. We had to touch up some stuff. Spent hours. It's because it's your baby. Sitting. Yeah, it's kind of my baby. And you guys can see, look how much warmer the floor is than the walls. And we did that on purpose, just so it wasn't all like super, super white. And I think it's gonna look good once we get stuff in. I was worried that might feather that out because we didn't take the paint off when it's fresh. That's all right, it's all getting repainted over there. Just do a little bit wider border with the black. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do a wider border. Just a little bit wider. I don't wanna do a wider border. We're just put some paint there. <laughs> I haven't sealed in there yet. I know. We need to seal it so that way I can come back. Yeah, now that you're pulling the tape, I'll, I'll seal it. Oh, does that extend past? No. It's not quite a square. It's square. I guess I probably should. Yeah, I guess extended past a little bit. So we're gonna put a black border on this, right? Yes. Little black dress, or are we using pitch black? Oh, I guess we could use a little black dress. I was just gonna use pitch black. So now I make a decision, like border, no border. I'm thinking border. Yeah, I think the border will really help define it. Definitely with this floor. Are you getting dust on it? Shh, don't look at it. Definitely with this floor, it's the six foot rule. So as long as it looks good from six feet away, we're good. I definitely recommend if you're super crazy picky, do not paint your floors white because it's impossible for perfection, but we have put four coats of sealer. We have sanded them to make them smoother and I think they're gonna wear really well. Yeah, for whatever reason, the color white attracts tiny little black bugs. They like to go hang out and sit on it. And so when you're sealing and you don't see them, and then like later you come back, you're like, what's that little black speck? And you get down close, it's a little tiny bug. If you want to pick up the products we use, they're at JanuaryVintage.com. The water-based floor sealer, we just picked that up at Home Depot. Make sure you're hitting up JanuaryVintageHome.com for all the home decor that we have, as well as our clothing. Both those websites help support our channel and our farmhouse build. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to January Vintage for more. DIY.